Forecasting the future and preparing for it has long been an Aston University tradition. In 1964, a seminar series entitled Towards the Year 2000 encouraged students and staff at the then College of Advanced Technology to reflect on what the future held for them and how they could prepare for it. Among the guest lecturers in that series was Professor Denis Gabor of Imperial College, London. Professor Gabor, who would win the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1971 for his work on holography, had in fact been a refugee to Britain. A Hungarian with Jewish family roots, he had been working in Germany in 1933 when Hitler came to power. He left Germany a few weeks later. In 1963, Gabor published his book Inventing the Future, and it was this topic that his 1964 lecture at Aston addressed. In this book, Gabor declared, The future cannot be predicted, but futures can be invented. Nowadays, such a message would have coincided with research agendas across the entire university. But in 1964, the student newspaper The Birmingham Sun reported that at a separate talk specifically aimed at academic colleagues, only 18 of the college's 250 staff showed up to hear the professor speak. The professor received a rather warmer and more enthusiastic reception from the students. As for Gabor's vision of the future, he anticipated the continuing importance of the service industries, such as tourism and food. He also foresaw the increasing popularity of physical activities and of handicrafts. He took his seat to a great ovation from the students, the Birmingham Sun reports. And yet, he had little optimistic to tell them. His key prediction was the arrival of a dangerous age of leisure, in which automation would become so prevalent in society that our main challenge would be having too much free time on our hands, or else losing our jobs to machines. In other words, despite his undoubted brilliance, Gabor did not get everything quite right. He did not see the dawning age of the internet, more indeed, did he see the implications of the spread of artificial intelligence, for good or for ill? He wasn't the only one, of course. The risk of the future that we assume will come is that it never, in fact, arrives. The risk of the future we could not predict is that it takes us by surprise. The lesson from the archives seems to be that as we invent the future, we should also prepare for the unexpected. <laughs>